Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a twin flame read for you guys. All right. Um, this, you have to be 18 years old or older to watch this read. All right. I may be pulling some sexy times. We'll see sexy time cards. We'll see. Uh, if you get offended by, uh, nudity or sexual uh, talk, please find your way out of the read at that point. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, don't make it fit where it doesn't fit. Roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And uh, there's no reason to thumbs down. If today's not your read, it's not your read. Come back another day, okay? Uh, know that these reads are for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity on your situation. Uh, a little announcement. I did start uh, doing uh, chakra intention, uh, chakra healing intention candles. All right, they're five dollars each. If you'd like to add them onto your uh, personal reads, you can do so. Uh, or if you'd just like to purchase one uh, without the read, that's fine too. They're five dollars each. Just go over to my Venmo, Jesse Ray twenty five twenty one, and uh, just send over five and what you would like me to what intention you would like me to put into your candle okay i have four uh four color four colors four chakras i have the root the heart uh, third eye and crown chakra so far so just to let you know that and uh those are two that are burning right now for uh, two of my other clients so i um I cleansed them out with some moon water that I made from the last uh, full moon, the Leo moon. Uh, I also added rose to it uh, for uh, clarity, cleansing, and healing properties. So there you go. So that might help you out. Just a little something for you guys. All right. So let's see what goes on with the twin flame community. Divine uh, Feminine, Divine Masculine. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with the divine connections here. Okay. All right. So I feel like someone in this connection is feeling rejected. Uh, they're feeling that things aren't going their way. They're very much in their head. All right. I'm feeling hurt, beaten down by the situation with you guys. Yeah, of course, there's a runner. There's always a runner in the dynamic, the twin flame dynamic, right? Someone that's holding back their thoughts or emotions. Um, someone that's not uh, quite ready to feed into the connection. So that may make you feel uh, rejected in some ways. Maybe you don't feel that you're good enough for this person. But know that just because a person runs away, they may ghost you or they're withholding information from you, doesn't have anything to do with you. Know that that is, um, you know, their wounds and their shadows that they're just simply projecting onto you. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to look at it that way in order to um, not get yourself beaten down on the ground uh, due to someone else's actions. Okay. I feel like, let's see. So basically the read, what's centering the read is someone's feeling rejected, someone is running, right? So the runner chaser dynamic, but I don't see that you're chasing this person as of right now. Uh, I do feel that you're wanting your person back, uh, but you're laying down to it. You're taking it as a rejection, right? So let's see how we're going to do this. So I think the divine masculine is the one that's running. Okay, it could be reversed, but that's how I'm feeling. And the divine feminine is feeling rejected by the fact that uh, this masculine has left the connection. So we're going to go from this side to this side. So take it however it resonates. <clears throat> so... How is the Divine Feminine feeling right now? All right. You're wanting justice in the situation. How is the Divine Masculine? Okay. 
So the Divine Feminine right now is feeling that um, you're wanting. So when I say Divine Feminine, it doesn't mean that you have to be a female. You could be a male. It's just energy. All right. Feminine energy. You're more emotional. Your Divine Masculine is less emotional, more strong, you know, uh, not sharing emotions. <clears throat> I feel that Divine Feminine wants justice, wants balance and harmony back into the connection. All right. Wants peace and comfort. Okay, divine masculine right now is trying not to be toxic. He's trying to change. Again, I use he and she, but it, it could be this person. <clears throat> I don't want to confuse you guys. I'm sorry. So this person, divine masculine, doesn't want uh, to show up toxic anymore. They're done with the toxic tendencies. They don't want to be bound to a connection. So maybe this person just isn't ready for, um, just isn't ready for the magnitude of this, this relationship. They may be fearing the connection here. It may be that strong that they feel bound to it and they're not wanting to feel bound to it. So they run, they run away. Uh, you could be dealing with the Capricorn too. Divine Masculine could be a Capricorn or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius getting Libra heavy and cap. Um, this person may be trying to run away from their feelings for you here. Because it's too intense. They've never felt something like this before. Um, this person uh, looks like they haven't been well cared for by their previous people. All right, The people that have been in their life, they don't seem like they've gotten a lot of love or care. So this is the only way that they know how to do things. Uh, they run. They run from it. Escapism here. Yeah, you're feeling that this divine masculine isn't going to come in and share his emotions with you. You feel like there is immaturity here. Uh, maybe a little bit, uh, you're looking at this person cocky you know they only feed into themselves a selfish person okay so there's a lack of effort here between the two right. well divine masculine looks like he's trying to uh, manifest He's trying to manifest the connection back to stability, trying to be able to open up his heart to come back and shine some light on the situation. He shows passion for the feminine. He's just trying to stabilize his finances right now, his thoughts and his, his emotions, getting out of this toxic cycle. All right, that's good. Yeah, you're both wanting, I feel like you're both wanting with the Justice card and the Magician card on both sides. Centering is heartbreak. Okay, so there has been sadness in this connection. There has been hurtful words being misunderstood on both sides. You know, maybe the communication was off between you guys. But you both got hurt in this. You both saw the dark side of your emotions for one another. You've seen your shadows, right, within yourself. Um, you've hit you've hit the bottom, right, within self, seeing your wrongdoings, them seeing their wrongdoings in the connection, both wanting to heal the heartbreak. Heal the sadness between you guys. You both don't want any more sadness in this connection here. So if your person has run and they're being quiet, know that they're they're trying to manifest good things to come in for you guys. Good things to come in for themselves also. To be able to come back and give you that balance and harmony and get rid of this heartbreak that's centering the read. <clears throat> okay. 
Yeah, divine, divine feminine, you're not um, too sure of which path you're wanting to go on. You're not sure if you should leave this person behind or, or stay here. You're wanting movement. You're wanting movement. But I feel like you're just looking right now. You're not doing the work necessary. Okay. So you're needing to work on yourself a little bit more. Uh, instead of just waiting around in the sadness, waiting for this person to come back, you're needing to do the work to elevate yourself for yourself and for the divine, right? In twin flame connections, guys, I don't say twin flame lightly, okay? Um, if you're not in a twin flame connection, this ain't for you. You'll know whether or not if you're in a twin flame connection. Uh, well, some people don't. Some people, they're in a empath narc, like trauma bond. Uh, it can mimic a twin flame connection. But a twin flame connection is really um, about two souls that come together and then they separate. And within that separation, you do your own healing. So, so two wounded souls um, become enlightened. They enlighten each other about which path they should take and how they can higher their frequency in order to higher the frequency of the collective. So if you're in a true twin flame connection, you're doing your work for the divine. You understand? You're not just looking to fall in love with this person, but you're looking to make an impact in the world, all right? To get more people to elevate, to show that positivity, to higher the frequency of the collective. You're not just uh, out to, you know, have good sex with this person and live happily ever after, all right? In this beautiful house and materialistic things. That's not a twin flame connection. A twin flame connection is individual souls are doing the work, but their their person, your twin, is showing you the way to do it. And it it can be very hurtful, okay? Because they mirror, you know, your twin flame mirrors you. You mirror each other. So when you look at your twin, you see yourself in them. You see your good and you see your ugly side within that person. So they really open you up to your insecurities and your lack mentality in order to elevate all right, higher self, to master yourself and to enlighten others. So I would say if you're not, if you're not doing the work for the collective, meaning if you're um, if you're not helping others in some ways, you could be a doctor, a nurse, light worker, tower reader. Uh, your person could be physical therapist. Uh, uh, what else is helpful? Um, cop. All right. If you're both not in the line of helping other people, I would say it's not a twin flame connection, all right? It could be a soulmate or a karmic partner that you're dealing with. Oh, okay. Just saw the four of wands. Uh, if it's meant to come back out, four of wands for me is a twin flame connection. So that's confirmation for me that this is a twin flame uh, connection going on. So this person is, um, this divine masculine is internalizing how they feel and knowing that they have to make some changes in order to come back to the divine feminine, order to make his, his or her life better, right? Seeing the path that they're choosing and uh, following the light. So I think that this person possibly is becoming more aware of the connection with you understanding that it is a soulful connection um, that they're unable to walk away from because I feel this person has walked away from the divine feminine many, many times. 
but you always wind up coming back with one another. So feeling the connection, feeling that there is a soul tie between you guys. Um, but they're needing time to heal themselves. You know, they, they not only have you on their mind, but they have regular 3D life, right? Other things going on in their life that they're tending to. So Divine Feminine, you may have to be understanding to this masculine. Maybe the expectation, the high expectation you have for this person uh, because all they're showing you is coldness and you know they may be harsh with their words and they may, may have ghosted you so you're seeing this person as this person doesn't give a shit but i think this person is just very technical and very anal analytical about their moves um they 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 really are like a realist <laughs> I feel like a realist. This person um, maybe understands there is a soul connection, but the mind, the mind of this person is like, I don't understand it. It's weird. This is crazy. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Very, a lot of confusion. And I think you know that this person is very confused. And that's why... Um, you allow things to slide with them, right? You allow them it to slide because you know what the connection is, right? You know that it's a twin flame connection. You know that um, you guys are feeding off one another and you're becoming better without this person by your side. They're becoming aware of it because this, is, this card is falling on the divine masculine side. So they're becoming aware that you're the one that can bring them happiness. They're wanting the connection back to be happy with you again. They're wanting to share energy. This person also may want to have a child with you. But just know, a lot of times with twin flame connections, you guys don't come together on the 3D realm. Yeah, you have 5D communication. Yes, you have telepathy with this person. Uh, and you could feel them no matter where you are or where they're at. No matter if they're near or far, they're ghosting you or in and out of your life. You feel this person. I just saw the soulmate card, the two of cups. So, it's, so definitely telepathy going on. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but you could uh, try to tell your twin to give you a sign, okay? Such as numbers or um, to wear a certain thing or say a certain thing to see if it, you really do have telepathy with them, if you're not on talking terms. So I feel like you're both watching each other uh, more so the masculine is watching over the feminine, uh, the king of pentacles. So watching on social media, keeping, keeping tabs on you, but just sitting, trying to get that, that heart chakra opened because they do see your value here. And I feel like you see this person's value. They, they brought a lot of goodness into your life but then a lot of hell and heartbreak too. Uh, I feel like when you met this person, they, they um, transformed you in, in certain ways due to the heartbreak. Um, you may be a totally different person than when you first met this person. So regardless of how much dark night of the soul shit that you guys have gone through, um, it has paid off for um, the Divine Feminine has paid off for you because I feel like you're seeing yourself more for who you really are. And Divine Masculine is now seeing that he needs to elevate to this Divine Feminine. He needs to see his worth now. You see how it's mirroring? You weren't seeing it. He treated you poorly or she treated you poorly. Now you're seeing your worth. Now they're seeing I was wrong with how I dealt with this person. 
now I have to come in and share, share that cup of love with my divine feminine. Now I have to stop being greedy with my time and my attention and my emotions. I need to express. So I feel like uh, divine masculine is overflowing with emotions for you. But unable to approach right now. So just keeping an eye on you. Let's see. Divine feminine. What's going on on your side here? Because it's not just the masculine that needs help, guys. It's also you. It's not just your person. Don't put all the blame on your person. You're coming to some clarity. Clarity's coming in. Understanding is coming in. Just saw the two of cups again. All right. So centering the two of you, there may be emotions that haven't been expressed just yet. Maybe you don't know how this person truly feels for you. There could also be some kind of deception going on. I don't know if this person is uh, lying, cheating, stealing, all right, with the moon card. Um, but usually in a twin flame connection, there's something, something hidden here from you. And that's why it's like a whirlwind of emotions. Divine masculine's up at night, worrying about the connection. Sleepless nights here. You know, with that overthinking, person overthinks. Yeah, you're coming out. Divine feminine, you're coming out of isolation you're coming out of the stagnancy feeling bound by this person you're coming to the fact that it's okay if this person doesn't come back to you you're going to be fine you're going to continue to elevate yourself you're going to continue to grow regardless if they're there or not you know the connection you know that you guys are tied to one another um You'll always have this person, I feel, in your soul on the 5D. So really, you haven't lost this person. They're still with you energetically. Just not in the physical realm, right? Divine Masculine's trying. He's trying. She's trying. Trying to get the strength up to see... That they're, they're worthy of this type of love. They're worthy of this connection. They're worthy of becoming greater than what they are right now. They're needing to stand tall. This person I feel is very well liked. Very well wanted person. But inside they're, they're, they're stuck in insecurity. Like the feminine was at the beginning. Stuck in the insecurity not thinking that you could find a love that's so strong and magnetic or love within yourself that's the importance here finding that true love within yourself to rise up and as the feminine rises up with her confidence and putting forth the effort and enlightening others that's when the masculine can then elevate. So if you're not doing your job right now and seeing what's in here and what you need to be focusing on, your divine masculine cannot come in for you. For some of you, not all. There is going to be completion with this twin flame. There is going to be a nurturing connection, feeding into one another, watching those flowers grow, watching the connection grow to a higher level. Okay. So let's see. 
Sorry to hear my kids. They just got off of school. <laughs> so let's see what else. Be patient. Be patient. But no, you have the right to say you want to wait or you don't want to wait. But don't wait in sadness. And don't wait and not do the work on yourself and get yourself back where you need to go. Back on the right path. see animal spirit dynamic between the two of you how are you coming up how is divine feminine coming up divine masculine coming up as a dynamic uh, masculine still on the darker side of things right still still hurting still seeing that um still having their insecurities Still having their insecurities override their goodness, their shadows. Right. And you're coming up a little sneaky in your own ways also. So you're coming up as the Black Panther. So if this person comes back in wrong, you'll attack. You're not going to put up with it. Right? There's no more putting up with it. The panther will eat the bat, correct? So don't come on with some, don't come here with no dumb shit towards me. All right. They do want to fly towards you, but maybe right now is not the right time. If they were to fly towards you at this moment, I feel like they would suck your energy. So don't allow it. Put up those boundaries. Let's see what else goes on in this dynamic. I'm going to try to keep this video under 40. If you'd like a personal read, just go over to my link in my bio over on Venmo. I also take Cash App and uh, PayPal, but I prefer Venmo because I'm most familiar with it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, feminine, you're you're a little over all over the place in your thoughts. Some days you're good. Some days you're bad. You know, the passion for this person overrides your logic sometimes, right? So you're needing to pull back and everything and get more grounded, right? Get to a more understanding place with this person. Sea serpent. Like I said, they still got their eye on you. They still have emotions. They have emotions for you, this person. No doubt about it. Hope I don't screw up the video. Okay, sorry, I had somebody was calling. So that's funny. Um, yeah, one of my friends, my old man friend, he's calling. Um, so the person does have their eye on you. They're 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 opening their third eye. All right, they're opening their intuition. They're, they're going to start listening to their intuition right here, their third eye, more than here, their crown, all right? So right now, Divine Masculine is more in their head, more logical reality, all right, 3D. If, if, if this person has another person or you have another person, they're, you know, logically you would say, no, 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 this connection's never going to work, but intuitively, third eye they're becoming aware that something's going to change or something has to give because it's a divine connection. There is some goodness to come out of this. This is not like a normal uh, karmic uh, love connection. It goes deeper than that. Their soul's awakening and it's trying to go elevate to a lighter side. But feminine, you need you need to get your your details aligned. You need to get those chakras aligned within you, All right? Knowing that you don't need this masculine to complete you. Yeah, the dragon. Knowing that you're a mystical creature here. You 
have all that power inside of you to feel loved and wanted and you know, spreading that magical dust to others, showing others that they can enlighten themselves. That you don't need anyone else to do this for you. You have it all there within one eye. Powerful, very powerful, feminine. You're powerful, feminine. Claim that power, claim that shit. Divine Masculine. Yeah, Divine Masculine is dealing with a lot of emotions right now. Lots of emotions. You might be dealing with the Pisces. Dealing with a lot of emotions. They may be triggered some days about how they feel. You know, second guessing themselves about this connection with you. getting wiser you're getting wiser you're understanding a lot more here understanding that you have to fly you have to make yourself busy and be that queen bee be that queen bitch right keep on moving keep on raising that frequency around you raising those vibes finding understanding i love it I did see the strength card. So masculine is becoming stronger within his own energy also. Okay, let's see. I would say give it time for this connection to come back in, uh, for things to work out the way you're wanting them to. Don't stay in lack, okay? so. This is messages from your person. Um, it's a demo oracle deck that I'm making. What they would like to say to you that they're unable to tell you. Okay, so let's see what this person would like to say to you. Divine masculine, say to divine feminine. We'll do that first. Okay. Okay, so this person, if they're dealing with other people, they don't want to be with that person. I don't want to see, um, okay, I read that wrong, but okay. I don't want to see you with anyone else, with someone else. I don't want to see you with someone else. So they're afraid that you're going to be getting yourself into another connection. But I also feel like this Divine Masculine is not happy with his partner, his or her partner. If they're, they have another person. They're wanting you to trust trust them. Trust them in the connection. I need to heal. Right? This person knows that they, they haven't been the greatest to you. They haven't been the best person to you and all of those other people around them. So they're needing to heal their shit. All right. So you can't hate on them for that. All right. But they're unable to communicate this with you. They're unable to tell you uh, what's going on. They fear, you know, it's a, it, they fear the connection. I'm sorry I walked away from you. So they're sorry that they, they've had to take time out from you. They miss you. They don't want you to get away. They don't want to see you with anybody else. So what would the divine feminine like to say? to the masculine. My dearest, don't lose feelings. Okay. So feminine wants to say, don't lose feelings for them. And they're manifesting you back. They're wanting you back in their life. Oh, that's sweet. 
there is love here. There's love here between you guys. You're just not, you're unable to figure it out right now because um, it's a very confusing connection, right? Very confusing. A lot of hidden things. Uh, feminine, maybe some of you feminine, 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 <laughs> feminine, feminine, <laughs> feminines will be walking away from this masculine. Okay, and that's okay. You do what you got to do. All right, that doesn't mean that soul tie disappears because you walk away. Remember, twin flames, they connect on other realms, 5D. Most of the time, we don't connect on a 3D with our twins. All right. So if you need to walk away and go find yourself a soulmate that will feed into you um, the way that you're needing to, then go. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. All right. So let's do some self-care and then I get you out of here. So self-care, what you can do to higher your frequency to get yourself feeling a little bit better. All right. So a lot of you, I feel you're, you're needing grounding. Okay. I'll put up the selenite heart for you guys. Grab, grab you some grounding and clarity for you. Ground yourself. Go outside. Take a walk in nature. Put your feet in the ground. Um, some of you may be wanting a child with this person, or some of you may be trying to get pregnant and you will be conceiving a rainbow child. Okay, what else? Okay. Guys, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure that you get these weekly reads and uh, share it. If you'd like to follow me on other platforms, the link's in the bio also. Okay. And I do appreciate all the gifts and donations that you guys sent me and all the support with the comments and everything. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Okay, I think that's it. I'm not getting any more for you guys. So we're going to leave it there. And uh, I hope this read gave you some clarity. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again next week. Don't forget to follow on all my prop platforms. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.